All right, in this first video, we're going to look at some tools that we can use for photo repair. Uh, this one is pretty typical. We've got some scratches, and uh, it looks like the photo was probably folded in half, which caused us a um, big bend right here. And uh, also, overall, the image is just kind of muddy and dark. So uh, let's make some big bucks and make this look uh, better today. First, my tip is I want you to zoom in on the problem. So get that zoom tool, get in nice and close where it's easier to see what's happening there. And then we are going to get that clone stamp tool. So with the clone stamp tool, you're going to see uh, that circle representing the size of the brush. And the way it works is we need to hold the Alt key to tell the computer what it is that we're going to copy. So I'm going to hold Alt and you should see your cursor turn to a little target looking thing and then I'm going to click and let go and then if I come up and click on where my problem is and I start dragging you're going to see uh, that copy out and cover up what the problem was. Now uh, you want to be careful if you look when I'm copying there's a little crosshair down below and that crosshair is what it is copying. So if you look up here, see how I'm starting to copy the dress into the greenery there? That's no good. So I'm going to undo that. And when I start getting closer, I'm going to change what I'm copying from. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and click up. Uh, well, let's come out a little bit to the left. That gives me a little bit more room as I come in to clean that up. Some of these other, oh, see how that turned out much darker? I was being careless and thought I could just uh, undo something right there. So I'm going to make sure that I re choose what I want to copy from before I come in and start covering things up just to make sure those tones are going to match better. Okay, just a reminder the keyboard shortcut if I press the space bar, that's going to change it to the hand that makes it a little bit easier to uh, drag my file over. Um, except I'm apparently not zoomed in enough for that to work. Let's try that again. Holding the space bar. And it's not working on my laptop. Awesome. Well, just trust me on your desktop so that if you hold the space bar, that will give you the shortcut for that. Let's go ahead and just scroll over here. Uh, to finish fixing this up, come back and get my clone brush tool, my clone stamp, excuse me, I'm going to hold the alt key and click, come down and put some more greenery in there, put some more down in here. You just basically want to camouflage that there was ever any break in the photo there. Now the tricky part is anything that has a straight exact line, like this stuff right here. So I'm going to make sure that I hold my brush right over that cur uh, that cur crease in the dress and hold alt and click on that and then I can come up above and that will line right back up I'm gonna click to stamp that in now that I've got that perfect line up I can come in get a little bit more relaxed and where I'm copying things from around it as long as that crease there lines up perfectly I'm probably going to do that same thing over here. I'm going to hold the Alt, click on that crease, and line that up. And then I can come in and start uh, copying some of this from other places. I'm going to make my brush size a little bit smaller. Get some extra greenery in there. Have a bigger brush size here with the suit. Alt click to get the darkness of the suit. And once again, I'm coming closer to an edge here that I want to be careful with. So I'm going to Alt click on the edge of the suit. Then I can come up and click and put move that in so that I've got the edge of the suit. So when we zoom back out, we can see I've cleaned that line up all the way through. 
Well, my problem is, is the way that I just did this was is known as destructive editing. I fixed it on the original pixels within the image, and that's not so good. We want to be fixing things non-destructively. So when you go to work on your photo, before you start using the clone stamp tool, make sure that in the layers palette, you come down and make a new blank layer. And then when you click on the clone stamp tool, look up at, it, at its options. The default's current layer. We want to change that to all layers. So now if I come in, and once again, I'm going to hold the Alt key. Um, let me make my brush size a little bit smaller here. There we go. All right, I'm going to hold the Alt key and click below. Come up above and click and drag. And the difference is, as I'm making these changes, is that instead of changing the original pixels of the image, the things that I am fixing are going to be showing up on a separate layer. up a little bit, get that down there. So if I hide this background, you can see all that stuff that I just did is showing up on a separate layer. So that is non-destructive editing. That's what I want you to do when you fix this project, is go through and clean up all these scra uh, scratches and scrapes, but do it on a separate layer so I can see what you've done there. The second thing, once you've got all your scratches taken care of, is that this uh, image is way too dark. It's kind of muddy. Uh, so we want to lighten and open this image up. Uh, so we're going to use our adjustment layers. Once again, over on the layers palette, we have this little circle that's cut in half with the uh, dark and the light area. I'm going to click on that and choose Levels. This is called a histogram, this little mountain looking thing. It's kind of a map of uh, what our pixels are doing in the image. So here's a black triangle that represents our shadows or our blackest blacks. So you can see I've got a ton of uh, blacks, pretty good mediums, not so many highlights or pure whites going on in here. So I can go in and adjust this as needed. I could take my shadows and make just my shadows darker. I could come in and get my highlights and just make my highlights darker. Um, but because of the image being the way it is, where I already have a good uh, white area and a dark area, that's not really the direction I want to take because it's making the other stuff too bright if I do just the shadows or the highlights. This is why Levels is so awesome, is I can come in and just adjust the midtones. So I'm going to grab that little gray triangle there in the middle and start lightening that up. Now again, you can go too far, but you just want to find something that's a little bit lighter. I'm paying most attention to the tone in their skin and their faces through here. Um, at this point, though, uh, the suit's gotten a little bit too uh, washed away for me, so I'm going to take my shadows and bring that back in a little bit. But I'm mostly paying attention to what's happening in this area right here. So if I click on the eyeball of our levels adjustment layer, you can see here's the image before and here's the image after. Now when you do a, your adjustment layer, make sure it's on top because if that adjustment layer accidentally shows up underneath where your fixes are, see how these lines that I did with the clone stamp tool aren't being affected? Make sure the adjustment layer is all the way at the top so that everything will line up nice and neat. Now. I've got some areas that are still a little blown out. They're too bright with my adjustment layer that's on there. What's so cool is adjustment layers come with a mask. So I'm going to click on that mask and I'm going to come and get my paintbrush and paint with black. And actually I'm going to turn down my opacity down just a little bit. But if I come in and start scrubbing on this, I'm painting black and it's going to slowly start bringing in the brush, the, the, the detail of the dress. The reason why I turned the opacity down on the brush is if it goes too strong, 
you're going to see brush strokes of where you mask things out. See how if I come up like this, you can see exactly where I've worked. That's why I prefer to have the opacity down. And I might have to go over a few areas a couple times, but it's going to be less obvious where you've played with that masking and where you haven't. All right, so looking at this, it's looking better. Maybe I want to bring some highlights actually back in. I'm going to uh, double click on uh, the crown on the levels and that brings this histogram back. I'm going to bring the highlights down just a little bit on there. There we go. Of course now I've got a little bit more work to do over here with my masking. You can see a little bit more what's been happening there and it looks bad. So I want to come in and, and even this out. Kind of blend that in. So ultimately, this is the goal. This is what you're looking for, is to lighten up the image, uh, still have some good contrast, and fix up all your scratches. Notice that when I lighten it up, we can see uh, there's a problem in the suit right here. I can take care of that with my clone stamp tool. So we'll copy some more of the suit and just kind of clean that up. So that's your job. If you want to make the big bucks is to go keep cleaning this up until it looks nice and neat. Make sure you save this as a PSD so that I can see your layers. So just uh, save it as Martha and instead of a TIFF, which is what, it, what, what you downloaded it as, come in and choose the PSD right up here. There we go. And name it Martha underscore your name. So I'll name it Martha Lisa. And okay.